given out in all MRT trainings, but virtually no one today explains it. We call it a pop-up, uh, and if you look at it, it, uh, it has step one, two, three, four, so on, all the way around it, and on the other side, the rest of the steps. And what we got this for was to explain personality transformation, which is exactly what it says in the middle of it. And it's a very simple concept. In, in MRT, we usually talk about clients starting out as being uh, kind of shallow, two-dimensional, making their decisions based on pleasure and pain. And it's, it's a very simple way to make decisions, and, and in truth, that's the lowest level of moral reasoning. Somewhere around step three, as clients progress, they seem to make a sudden change, and a lot of a lot of counselors notice this, a lot of group facilitators notice it, and clients come in and they say, something's changed, I, I, I don't know what it is, things are just different. So what we believe that happens is, is that there are a lot of little subtle changes that occur in people. You've heard that we all make small changes, and often they're not visible. Well, at some point they become visible, and you can see clients literally changing from being this kind of two-dimensional decision-making to becoming three-dimensional and having some depth in their decisions. That's what this was for. Very simple. Two-dimensional, pleasure pain to making decisions based on something that has much more depth. That's it. That's all we wanted to do.